Hey everyone, this is my review for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection Volume 1. So, this is the first comic series of the Turtles, since they're purchased by Nickelodeon. Uh, started in August of 2011, so it's been going on for almost 9 years now. I heard that they went up to issue 100 recently, but I just picked this up recently because I, uh, have a long history um, of liking the turtles so it was something i really wanted to get into this book has two authors tom waltz and kevin eastman and kevin eastman is actually one of the two co-creators of the turtles so it's him and kevin eastman and peter laird were the two people that created them and then they started with the mirage series which is the original comic series that went on during the 80s i think so it's interesting to see that one of the creators has playing um has been playing a big part in this series. The main series issues in this book are all by Dan Duncan. And this book collects the first 12 issues of the main series. And it also includes individual issues for Raph, Mikey, Don, Leo, and Splinter, I'm pretty sure. And each of those issues have unique art by different artists. But other than that, it's all done by Dan Duncan. On the back, we have a short synopsis that reads, TMNT co-creator Kevin Eastman and writer Tom Maltz guide readers through a groundbreaking new origin and into epic tales of courage, loyalty, and family as the Turtles and their allies battle for survival against enemies old and new in the dangerous streets and sewers of New York City. For me, this is something I really wanted to pick up because uh, growing up in the early 2000s, I was really into the 2003 series. That's something I'm really nostalgic for. I know it's often the, the case that people are nostalgic for the 80s series, but it's a little different for me because I grew up on the first series that af aired after that original one. So it's something I really liked. It was, it was a really good show considering it was made for kids. It didn't treat the viewer in a bad way. It took itself seriously, but it didn't go over the top. It had a good mix of humor and great storytelling and the all the voices of the turtles were awesome i love them they're definitely all my favorites hey shell for brains can you keep it down there are some people in new jersey who are trying to sleep <sighs> when i was looking this online at this online it just gave me a lot of vibes from it and reminded me of it. So it's something I really wanted to pick up. In terms of comics, um, I got into reading Ultimate Spider-Man a few years ago, but I haven't really diverged from anything from that. And I figured that since I grew up on the Turtles, uh, this is something I really would like. And fortunately, I ended up really liking it. So it was a good um, way to put myself out there with reading other stories other than the one I'm currently on considering I'm still reading Ultimate Spider-Man so something I've uh, I really um, I'm glad I did in terms of quality physically of the book this is really well made I'm not sure if they have a paperback of this but this is just the one I wanted I chose the hardcover copy you got a raft on the front and there's a particular reason for that um, if you actually end up reading it you'll see why because the beginning of the story kind of revolves around him in a way if you read you'll figure out why you know got the binding on the side it's really nice tmnt the synopsis on the back which i had, I had read just before this raft there again a little index table of content uh contents for all the issues and it reads all of the respective artists and authors for each one and again the first 12 the main 12 issues are written by dan duncan and it varies for all the micro one shots for the four turtles and splinter as you can see the artwork is relatively really well and honestly i think it gets slightly better as the book goes on and something interesting to note they start out with all wearing the same red bandanas that's something they did there in the mirage series so it was interesting to see that they brought that back with this so yeah it's, it's all it looks really well you know we have uh, april there and one of the doctors, I forget um, his name. Well, the artwork is, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. And again, also, um, there's a lot of new elements that are in here. So it really keeps you 
engaged with the story as opposed to not really being engaged because you just know what's going to happen. There's a lot of new things in here. So it really keeps you in and wondering what's going to happen because this is not the same story being retold. It's not the same exact circumstances which led the four turtles to be with Splinter. It's not exactly the same thing and how it's all, the way it's laid out is very different. And I really, really was a fan of that. Overall, I would say this is a really good start to the series. If you are a fan of the turtles, this is definitely a must pick up. Um, if you're a fan of comics in general, I'd recommend it. It's just a really good start to a brand new series, a good retelling of characters that you already know while still maintaining the foundational aspects of why you love this um this franchise the teenage mutant ninja turtles it's really it's something you, i would recommend there's a lot of content in here i mean look how thick this is i mean the price point is a little high i got this for a discount so it says here on the back 50 i got it for like 30 so maybe you can find a good deal online but overall yeah i really enjoyed this a lot so yeah definitely recommend uh those are my thoughts on the tmnt IDW Collection Volume 1. Uh, hope you enjoyed my thoughts on it. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.